So of course, incense fragrances have been popular for a very long time, and I definitely have my favorites. There are certain tried and true incense-based fragrances that I always revisit, and these 10 in my collection are some of my absolute favorites. I'm very excited to share this list with you, so make sure to stay tuned. Before I begin today's episode and I tell you about my favorite incense-based fragrances, some designer, mostly niche, but I'll go over all of them and I'll let you know what they smell like, performance, all that good stuff. I do want to start the video off first by saying that if you're a fan of fragrance-related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell icon so you could be notified whenever I do upload future videos to the channel. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you took something of value from today's episode. It would really mean a lot to me. Now, I do want to mention that most of these fragrances can be sampled at Sensplit.com. So I'm going to leave all of the links down below if you are interested in checking them out. Sensplit is a decant service. So basically, if you want to buy a milliliter or 10 milliliters of a particular fragrance, that's always the wisest option because a lot of these fragrances cost into the hundreds of dollars per bottle. So I really don't want anybody spending that much money on something, especially if you don't have a clear idea of what it's going to smell like. It might not work with your skin chemistry at the end of the day. So definitely sample fragrances first, see if they work with you. And then if you end up loving it enough, then go ahead and buy a full bottle of it. The first fragrance I want to I want to talk about is by the company Bulgari. So this is a designer fragrance, by the way, and this one is called Garanat. Now, of course, it does have the garnet stone at the top. Not real, by the way, but it does have that reddish appearance to it. This is basically rose and incense. Now, this is a really luxurious, really exquisite, expensive smelling fragrances. And this is part of the Le Gem collection. So it is a little bit more pricey than some of the other offerings. It's in the same collection as Tiger, which seems to get all the love, especially as a summertime fragrance. But Garanat, if you are a fan of incense and rose, forget about it. It's amazing. From the company Gucci, another designer, we have a Midnight Stroll. Now, of course, there is Gucci Guilty Absolute, which is a little bit on the darker side of things, but this actually has incense in it. So it's very dark, it's smoky. I also think there might be a little bit of birch in here as well. So it has that sort of burning uh, forest, burning leaves type of a vibe in here. And even the name, a Midnight Stroll, you have the impression that this is going to be a dark fragrance. And for me, incense can be very dark, mysterious, but it can also be very tranquil and meditative. This is one of the dark and mysterious offerings on this list. Of course, by Inicio Parfum Privé, we have Magnetic Blend number eight. Now this is incense and musk, specifically frankincense, also known as olibanum. So for me, that's always had like a lemony pine type of a smell. And this one has the musk added to it. So it's earthy, it's green, it's musky, great for layering as well. We also have one by Matière Premier. This one is called Ansans Suave. Now this is very rich, resinous, balsamic. If you're looking for something more on the ambery side of things, for example, Amber Absolute by Tom Ford is another fantastic incense-based fragrance. So honorable mention to Amber Absolute. It's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. But again, Ansans Suave is more on the ambery side of things. Very rich, balsamic. Now here we have one of the most beautiful incense fragrances I've ever tried in my whole life by Filippo Sorcinelli. This is called Reliquia. Now this has one of the most beautiful incense ingredients. It's very mysterious, very dark, very ethereal, almost biblical, but it also has a lot of green notes. So it's very earthy. It has a variety of different resins and it really is a super complex incense fragrance. And actually, let's do a little double feature. We also have Unum Labs. This is another one by Filippo Sorcinelli, Italian brand, and this one is brilliant. Now, this is more of like a straightforward frankincense type of a fragrance. If you wanna smell like a Roman Catholic cathedral or something like that, Unum Labs is definitely a great way to go. Of course, with Reliquia, we're talking about something a little bit more complex. Of all of these fragrances so far, the longest lasting ones are the Gucci and Ansan Suave. Of course, with Garanat, you do get in the vein of like seven or eight hours. Magnetic Blend, also about eight hours. With these two, you get seven or eight hours, but the Gucci fragrance is gonna give you like 10 plus hours. 
Next, we have a favorite, and this one has been around for a long time, by Tiziana Terenzi, another Italian brand. It's called Laudano Nero. Now, this one actually gets compared to Black Afghano by Nasomato, yet another Italian brand. But this particular fragrance has these woodsy ingredients. There's like a note of coffee in there. I know with Black Afghano, you kind of have like this hemp ingredient in there as well. So this one is very earthy, very dark, a little musky, definitely incense -y and very, very mysterious. So again, if we're talking mysterious, we're talking about La Dano Nero, a midnight stroll. If we're talking about very tranquil and meditative, we're talking about Reliquia, Unum Labs, and perhaps even Garanat. Garanat is actually more on the exotic and rich side of things. Now, we can't mention Mysterious and Incense without talking about Interlude for Men by Amouage. I know there's been several flankers. There's the Iris counterpart. There's also the strongly concentrated one, the original Interlude for Men, the Oregano, the Incense, the Resins, that aromatic appeal, the darkness, the earthiness. It is stunning. Pierre Negrin did a beautiful job composing this fragrance. And it's definitely one of the longest lasting fragrances that the brand of Amouage has to offer. It's an Omani brand and it's beautifully, beautifully done. Has been around for so many years. Years now when did it come out in 2012 or something like that interlude for men has been around for a very long time also probably the strongest fragrance on this entire list in terms of longevity this next one probably comes in second or third place by electimus london it's called puritas now this one also straight up incense a lot of frankincense or olibanum is very rich, it's very warm, it's not overly resinous or balsamic, it doesn't smell thick or dense or th uh, viscous or syrupy or anything like that. It actually does smell very sort of grounding, very meditative, but the strength behind this fragrance, the vigor that it conveys is superb. I truly love Puritas by Electimus London. And with that being said, the number one spot when it comes to incense-based fragrances, of course, we have Full Incense by Montal. That's a wonderful honorable mention. And of course, Armani Privé also has an incense-based fragrance that I think is quite wonderful. There's so many incense-based fragrances on the designer side of things with Zadig and Voltaire. This is him, is an amazing incense fragrance. And um, there's even Atzaro's Decibel, believe it or not. That one smells a lot like frankincense to me. And I do enjoy that on the designer side of things a bit quirky but the number one spot has to go to yet another designer brand the designers are doing pretty well this one by Comme de Garçon is called Incense Avignon and it's part of the Incense series and this one pays homage to Roman Catholicism and the incense that is in here composed by Bertrand du Chafour is done so remarkably well it's so beautiful, it's so comforting, it's so rich, it's so mysterious, it's so enigmatic, it's so transportive, it takes you to another world. And I just love the fact that fragrance has the ability to do that. And Incense Avignon is really one of the most brilliant incense-based fragrances. It's truly a benchmark. The quality is there, the longevity is there, the intrigue is there. I mean, just smelling this stuff really opens up your eyes and your nostrils and it shows you the beauty of perfumery. And this is a fragrance that, you know, I've always wanted to get my hands on and I've had it now for a few years. So I'm very blessed to have had the opportunity to own it. But here in front of me, we have 10 beautiful incense-based fragrances. And these are some of my absolute favorites. We have some of the most complex like Reliquia or Interlude for Men. We have some very simple ones in here like Unum Labs and even Magnetic Blend 8, which is probably the most simple one on this entire list. We have some that are a little bit derivative and we also have some that are exceptionally well done and some that are also very uh, exotic smelling like Garanat. In any case, drop your comment down below. Let me know what is your favorite incense-based fragrance. Do you even like incense as a note? I know there are some people that prefer fresh fragrances, so you're not looking for something exceptionally dark or rich or foreboding or anything like that. So let me know. Do you like incense? What is your favorite incense-based fragrance? Do you like copal? Do you like myrrh? Do you like olibanum? Do you like frankincense? Do you like benzoin, right? There's so many resins that can be used for incense purposes. But in any case, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, give it a thumbs up. I love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.